Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. Um, subscribers, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm here doing a video for Libra. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a little something new I'm trying. Um, to get you guys a little bit more information within the month. Um, this is like a just checking type situation. So Libra, I've already shuffled sage, prayed over the cards, laid them down for time purposes. Okay. So Libra, your first card out was the Ten of Wands. So you got something very heavy on you, on your shoulders. It could be, you know, thinking about something that's that's very heavy on your shoulders. Karen, you're carrying a lot of weight. But we're at the Ten of Wands, so you're about to drop the, these burdens because it's too much. It's just too much for you, and you're over it already. The second card you have is the Page of Pentacles. So you could be receiving a gift. You could be starting something new. Someone could be asking you out. Um, your third card is the higher font. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> third card is the higher font. This could be a commitment. This could be a marriage. This could be, you know, getting um, connected with your spiritual side. Um, this could be organizations. So what I'm what I'm getting here is that it could be a burden for you to start something new in a commitment a commitment or a marriage and it just seems to be burdening you down okay so libra what was clarifying the ten of wands is the two of pentacles so you could be Thinking maybe someone could be juggling here. It's either you or the person you're dealing with. It could be either they're juggling money, bills, trying to get their balance, or it could be people. Um, think you're thinking about it, and it's it's kind of weighing heavy on you. You're not totally sure if that's what's really going on, because what's clarifying the page of Pentacles is the Nine of Wands. You're being very guarded here. You're being very guarded. Um, you've been through some things here. And I'm not saying that you, you're wanting to give up because, no, you're, you're, you're still standing here. You're not giving up. You're not giving up. But you just don't want to go through any more shit either, you know. You're like, uh-uh, nope, I'm going to see what this is about, you know, before I jump into it. Now, what's clarifying the higher fonts is the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, these are big changes that are about to happen here. Um, this is good luck. This is good fortune. This is something that's destined to happen here. This is something destined. This could be good or bad karma, but with it, with it in the upright, this is good karma here for you, Libra. We also have the sun card. So whatever the situation is, it's going to be a good outcome here. There's gonna be, it's going to be a good outcome, and something is destined to come together here. Leo, something's destined to come together. So I also pulled you an energy card, Libra. So, your energy card is Blossoming Abundance. Beautiful. So, your abundance, Libra, is about to blossom, baby. It's coming in. It's coming in. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see blooming results 
take hold. This card upright indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to the new growth. Be grateful and enjoy. Yeah. So, like I said, with this Wheel of Fortune, this is karma too. So if you've been sowing good seeds, baby, it's about to blow up. <laughs> it's coming. Libra, I also pulled you a Archangel Oracle card. And this is Claire's sentence. Archangel Raquel, notice your returning physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Yes. So Libra, if this resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, please leave me a comment like I um, stated earlier. This is something that I'm trying to give you guys more information within the month. If you like it, say nay or yay. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye-bye.